Hi, hello, welcome back to Planning with Jamie. Today we are gonna get right into it. We are going to go right into our week at a glance. And so if you guys watch last week's video at all, you can see I finally figured out exactly how I wanna work these pages that come before your week. So we have this blank notes page, another blank notes page, and then we have this like week at a glance that Erin Connor gave us. Absolutely love it, but it's taken me a little bit to figure out how to lay these out. If you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know I like doing a two-page week at a glance spread um, for like a weekly overview, and then I like to go into the actual like daily duo pages from there. And so, you know, you, you start with the month, you break it down to the week, you break it down to the days, and that works really, really well for me. And so on last week, my week has been really crazy. So you can see I haven't like filled the whole entire week in, you know, we're still kind of in the week, but I haven't filled the whole entire thing in quite yet because I'll fill you guys in as we're doing some of the planning. But yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy week. All right, so what I ended up doing is doing a like master brain dump or master to-do list on this first page. This worked really, really well for me. And then on the second page is my like meal plan, meal prep, and my to buy list. This worked really, really well for me also. I did throw work-ins out down here. Guys, the week got away from me. Oh my gosh, I feel like I say it every single week, but it's true. I have to say the motivation is there though, and sometimes that's the part that's lacking. And so I feel like if you're at least motivated, you can get it worked in. And then I throw in like my week at a glance over here. Last week we did these as all the home things that I do on certain days and that worked really well. I actually really enjoyed that. So I think I'm gonna like recreate this onto the next week because it's working so well for me. All right, so this week we're gonna use kit 323. Guys, this is one of my new kits. Oh my gosh, it is so, so cute. Look at these cute little honeybees here. So I love these colors together. They just make me so, so happy. So this one kit does all of that that you ended up seeing. So we're gonna fill out like on page first and then we're gonna start putting the stickers down. All right, I really quickly wanna show you the matching daily duo kit for the week at a glance. All these are available in A5 size also. So here is our week at a glance page and then our daily duo kit. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is just the cutest thing. Let me lay it out here. So this is bottom boxes. There's your seventh bottom box. You get your checklist, you get a whole bunch of scripts, some lines and dash lines, time labels, and then here are all the main headers with the days of the week, dates of the of the month, a whole bunch of bullet points, and then washi strips. These are cut in half, so you have eight of them down here. Guys, oh my gosh, these colors, I am telling you, it just screams like August for me. It makes me so, so happy. So we're going to get right to it. This will be the next video that I'm doing with you guys is the Daily Duo, and we're just going to set up our week at a glance first. All right, so typically I sit here and I fill out this portion of it while it is on this paper because it's just a lot easier than trying to write like with the coil there and such. And so let's, this is going to be week 33, August 12th through the 18th. I already wrote that in so I didn't have to refer to anything. And then let's just write our dates over here. I have a feeling this might be kind of a sloppy writing week, but I keep getting interrupted. So what has ended up happening, I'm gonna put my work schedule down first. So I work on Monday and Thursday, so let's throw those two in. So anyways, what ended up happening is my son has broke his elbow. It's not a huge fracture, but it is, like it almost makes it worse because like you can't just go in and fix it. So I end up seeing a description that basically says it's like a pebble in your shoe that's moving around and you know, it causes more injury by just moving around and hitting off of things. Um, so that's kind of what this little area in his elbow is doing. It was just a fluke accident. He ended up falling off of a playground area and catching himself on both his elbows. Like it happened so fast that he couldn't even think twice about it. And so we went to our urgent care. They didn't see, think they saw any fracture at all. And then within like an hour, we got a phone call saying, hey, there is in fact a fracture, but I'm waiting for ortho to call back to tell us like what the next move is. So ortho never called back until like 9.30 at night and had said, 
I want them to go to the ER to get um, like more x-rays, like more different views so that we could be sure about what was going on in there. So go to the ER and I, th I think in their head they already knew we needed splinted. Well, the urgent care doctor didn't call us and give us that option. She's like, he's 10 and um, not really in pain. And so I just want him to sleep in his own bed tonight, which I mean, you can appreciate. But that being said, he needed splinted. So she ends up making the choice. I'm gonna put workouts down here. She ends up making the choice. She didn't call us. She called us first thing this morning when she opened and said like, go ahead and come back in. We could do the x-rays here. And I'm like, oh, that's no big deal. So then I show up and she tells me this whole ER scenario. And in my head, being an ER nurse history, like I know that we need more, <laughs> like that he's, he's probably going to need to go get splinted and all this kind of stuff based on where the fracture is. Well, I don't think she's seeing that bigger picture because she's like, oh, you guys can just go home and we'll call you with the results. So we end up doing that because we didn't have this conversation until after the x-rays were already shot. So like we were already there, got to follow through with it at that certain point. And so we did, but the issue is now we had to go back and forth. We had to wait for ortho to call back. Ortho called back and we do did need splinted. So there's a third trip to there. All right, so I put down my work stuff. I put payday, so every Monday is my payday, and then trash and recycling week, I put a little workout thing down here. All right, I'm going to make start my little to-do list that I like to do. So we end up going back a third time and getting splinted, which she didn't feel super confident, and it's so funny because she doesn't see really the need for this splint because she's like, it's such a small fracture. Well, that's what the issue is, is it's such a small fracture that every time he bends his elbow, that fracture is just moving around in there and causing more issues. And like the ER nurse in me sees the big picture and I understand this. And so I am just like, yeah, just splint it until we see ortho and they can do everything they need to do um, research wise. And I'm not quite sure where we're going to land on this spectrum. It's either splinting for quite a while so that that tiny little fragment can find a place to heal on and hopefully heal correctly, um, go or doing surgery and going in there and like removing that little piece so it's not even like in the equation anymore. So I have no idea where we're gonna go with this. But I feel like this week's gonna be a little bit monotonous because we just have these questions out there at this point in time. All right, so I like using these checklists to break down during the week, like stuff I need to do. And so this first one is pick up Beckett's prescription. So I need to do that after work. They just kind of keep it at a certain pharmacy for me so that while I'm at work, I can go over there and jump and grab it. So that way they don't have to like ship it with ice packs and all this kind of stuff. It makes it way easier for everybody involved. So then on Monday, we also have dance. In fact, we have dance like every single day this week is choreography week for um, my oldest daughter. So let's see how many like special dance ones we have back here. Let's say it's at the beginning of all my scripts that I have the sports stuff. I did, you guys have probably already watched it. I did get a sticker book that is from Planner Kate, and I haven't done any rearranging yet to move this stuff to that stuff. Okay, these are the dance ones that I want, but we're gonna use these. We're just gonna use what we have, you guys. Um, I did order new like ones from Planner Kate that I'm gonna end up using, but for now, we're gonna make this work. So every day this week, we have dance, because it being choreography week. And that's the other thing. So I already work a couple of times this week and then we have dance every single day. So that throws like a big wrench into everything. And then my son breaking his elbow. And then, <laughs> this is so funny you guys, when it rains it pours, it always happens this way. Um, my two youngest girls have hand, foot and mouth. <laughs> yes, thank you, you heard right. Um, they're doing fine with it. I mean, it's more annoying than anything. It really hits them at night. Like that's when they're noticing it and they're not being able to sleep. Therefore, we're not being able to sleep. Um, it's to the point, I thought they had 
we do have dance on Saturday and Sunday also. So, um, I thought that they had strep throat. So they both got high fevers, like 102, 103, and then their throat hurt. And when I look back there, there was sores starting and it looked like white around them. And so I'm like, oh, I want it to be more white blotchy, but you guys have danced the whole entire week. So I need to get you in and get you on some antibiotics. And so we ended up going in, testing negative for strep. And I'm like, well, that's great. Then it's just viral and, you know, see how they are, see if they can go to dance. So we end up doing that. And as we're leaving, um, one of my kids said, mom, I have a rash here. And so I end up looking at it. I'm like, I don't know, you've had a fever and you've been laying underneath hot blankets. So it's probably like a sweat rash because that's what it looked like at first. I'm going to write in all of our dance times here. So I just keep referring over to this. I show you guys this every single week. This is like my sloppy calendar. You can download this on my Etsy sticker store, download it and print it out as many times as you want. You can have a Sunday start, a Monday start. You write in your month, you write in your dates, and so you end up personalizing. That's what I've ended up doing. It works perfectly for me. But yeah, I thought that this rash was just a heat rash. It didn't look like anything concerning by any means. Let's see, the 12th is none for the little girls, and then 3.30 to 8. I didn't think it was anything big by any means. And for the next two days too, like they're just like, oh, I itch a little bit or my feet hurt a little bit, but they also had like dance nonstop because it was their choreography week. And so again, I literally didn't think anything of it because it didn't look like anything. There was no outward symptoms. They weren't having fevers anymore. There was no cough, like literally no symptoms going on except for mom, my feet hurt completely normal for them to say when they dance that many hours. And so fast forward, um, yesterday, no, two days ago, we noticed little like red spots on my, one of my daughter's feet, but we also thought like it was the shoes rubbing, like their ballet half soles rubbing, um, because the area is kind of matched up with it. And so I am just like, you know, you're, you're most of the way done with the week. And so we'll be able to keep your shoes off and it should get better on its own. And so didn't think anything that day. Cause again, no other symptoms at all. Like it all just seemed related to the fact that we were dancing so many hours. Well, <laughs> then the next day we get home from dance. Let me double check where I'm at here. The 15, 3.30 to 8. Um, get home from dance and we look at their feet again and there was a blister, but it was like in the heel part. And so it seemed again that it could just match up for dance, like no big deal. This is happening because all the friction of dancing the whole entire week. So that being said, finally it spread to their hands a little bit, not much just a little. I mean, they barely have anything on their hands, but then within 24 hours got a few blisters. It's like right at the tip that they have a couple. And I'm like, well, uh, okay, let me look into your throat. And so I ended up looking into their throat because they haven't complained about their throat hurting really since then. And so I'm like, let me follow up on that and look into the, your throat. And when I look in there, yeah, there's some sores, like more than what they had earlier in the week. They don't look really bad or anything. It's just that, yeah, they're definitely there. And I even said, does your throat hurt? And they're like, not much. So didn't think tons about it until I saw the soles of their feet, the palms of their hands, and then their throat. And I'm like, there's no way you don't have hand, foot, mouth. I'm not taking them to a doctor to make sure that's what it is because really there's no treatment except for keeping them comfortable and they are doing fine with hydration and all that kind of stuff. I just kind of laugh because when it rains, of course, and it all happens at once, but they are doing great with it. All right, so I wrote in all of our dance times. There's so many because it's choreography week. And then I have this slash because the first one is the first team and then the second one is the second team. So I have three girls on two different teams. And so that's how I keep track of everything. Up here, I am going to write that it's choreography week. Inspire choreo week and that way it makes sense why there is so much dance and it's like a different schedule than normal 
All right, so Monday, let's get back at this. I have my work, I need to pick up my son's meds, and then we have dance, and it is payday. So we're good as far as that. And then I color code stuff. So here pretty soon I'm gonna be grabbing my Ahuhu dual tip dot pins, and we're gonna start color coding. So on Tuesday, we have dance. We're supposed to have soccer. We'll see what um, Ortho ends up saying. As of right now, they have benched him. Um, so soccer and we are going to do high school dance too. Let me get out these pins. All right, here's the three colors that I need. And so let me make sure it's not metallic. It is metallic. My kids keep messing <laughs> on my desk. Here's the non-metallic one. Um, so my kids keep messing on my desk with my markers. I keep saying, I have bought you your own markers. Please leave mine. Um, but they just love mommies way more, you know? So anyways, this is studio dance, this is high school dance, and this is soccer. And this works so great for us. And then usually blue is appointments, which we'll kind of see how that ends up playing out with this week. I'm sure we're going to have something. Um, that being said, I don't know if we need studio dance because I've already... I mean, I guess we could just put it to the side of it here. Because it is literally seven days in the week. And then high school dance, let's see, we have stuff on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, and then for soccer, we have Tuesday, Thursday. I probably should double check if I needed any of these boxes before I make all these big marks, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, so Tuesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Unfortunately, he was supposed to have his first two games today. It was like a travel away, so they do two games at one time, and um, he had to miss. We would have gone and still supported the team, but we've literally been running back and forth for appointments instead. So it ended up not happening because of that. All right. One to three, one to three at GW. I do have stickers that says um, like the abbreviation for this, but I'm not even gonna pull them out right now because that's just how busy I am right now. <laughs> All right, and then Friday, we did a popcorn selling fundraiser and that popcorn's in. And so I don't know what time we need to do it yet, but that way I know on that date, I need to make sure to have availability to get it and deliver it to as many people as I can right away. And then Saturday, they actually have photos and I forget, it was supposed to be this last Saturday. It's supposed to be yearbook and poster photos for dance and it ended up getting canceled. And so I forget which one we are going to do. And then the other one's getting rescheduled to September, I think, because our uniforms aren't in until mid-September. So they will be doing photos and then they will also have a practice afterwards. So I don't know what time any of that kind of stuff is to put in here yet. All right, then we go back to soccer and soccer is five to 6.30. 5 to 6 30. Again, I have cute stickers for all this kind of stuff and I just, I need to get it into my brain or out of my brain onto paper and so I'm just not worried about it and maybe in the daily one I can do more decorative. Um, this one is not 5 to 6 30 so it's um, like a kickoff thing. We'll just call it fall kickoff. There is a small chance, like some uh, soccer refs will allow you to play with a cast on if you wrap it in soft stuff. So we just need to get the clear from ortho to be able to return to sports and to know like what we're even looking at, like how long will we be in this cast? I'm kind of happy. I mean, like swimming time is done. It's, it's kind of okay time for this to happen. It really sucks that it's taking them out of soccer right now but there's definitely worse times to have a cast on your whole arm. <laughs> so I just told him it is what it is. Like we'll make it all work. All right, let me double check that this is everything. So Monday we are good, Tuesday we're good. Wednesday we have an appointment. So let's, I mean, get rid of this sticker book here. I 
think just one thing on Wednesday. Yes. I also need to sign up to take snacks to dance. And I kind of want to do that on the days that I'm not working so that somebody else isn't responsible for taking them. Like, I don't want dad to have to worry about that. And so I need to figure out what dates those are going to work. All right, this one is orthodontic. And that is one of my other kids are getting braces. So we already have two in braces. This will be our third one. Um, she's really excited about it. She thinks it's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so um, she finally feels like the in kid. All right. And then Thursday we have everything. Let's see. We have that. So we're good. Saturday and then Sunday the only thing I need to put in is dad is going out of town so I just need to note that so that I know like as far as scheduling wise or help wise you know where I'm sitting I didn't really need many of those again this week I think these color coding you know it kind of decreases how many of those I'm I'm using but it really makes sense in my head to see the colors on here too so um out of town we'll just write and then over here for my workouts i also like to write when i work so work and then thursday monday tuesday wednesday thursday work and that way i also know like if i didn't work out kind of a reason for it all right so this was last week and we are literally going to recreate this because it worked really really well there's a whole bunch of meal prep stuff that i can write in there i haven't updated and like crossed everything out quite yet but you're gonna see like how fast this all comes together like i i loved it like i think i finally figured out how stuff is going to work very well for me so this, I'm just going right above that line because I got the canvas insert, so it's all gray. It just goes with everything. Really, really happy that I ended up doing that. And then this, I like to fold my, my book over all the time. I feel like it just makes life a little bit easier. But this, we're just gonna line up over here. It does not need to be pure perfection. It's just gotta be down. And so we've got that. And then I really liked how I did the one dot. Let me find my gray one. All right, I have the gray one. I Last week, like I did a dot at the beginning of each day and that really helped so that I knew like that's a separate day than the others. And so I think I'm gonna continue that. This one is almost dried out. I need to find my new one of this. Again, kids are helping helping me lose my mind right now. <laughs> and then the other thing that we've been doing is zone cleaning. And so at the beginning of every week, I like to write zone and then I'll fill in the day. Now we are off of zones this week and I'm not quite sure exactly when we're gonna pick back up. I'm still gonna write this in um, because the girls with hand, foot, mouth are not allowed in the kitchen. And that way, like we're not trying to spread it through that, that way. And then um, also they're just too painful to be able to do something such as that. And so right now the goal is just everybody helps with everything. So also I guess, oh my gosh, with my son with being in a cast, I mean, he only has one hand. So he's a little bit limited on what he can do too. <laughs> That's just really unfortunate. The more I, I'm thinking about this, you know, it just kind of makes it funny. All right, let's go ahead and we are going to grab our workouts. So what I end up doing is making this box like do all the measurement for me and it works really, really great. So I just line it up on the bottom down here and I went like really close to the coils and really quick, I'm going to take my bookmark out and that way I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, we've got another one in there. Let's take that bookmark out too. Um, that way I don't have to worry about like when I'm trying to draw lines, if it's uneven or not. These are the cutest ever, you guys. Don't you think? Look at them. Little cute bees. Okay, anyways, <laughs> back to the task on hand. We're going to put it as close to the coil over there and then go straight over. 
And then I'm grabbing my Chrissy Ann Designs Daily Duo stencil. I end up putting the washi strip around it so that I quit losing it. Um, and then I just butt it up against the washi strip and then this box down here and voila, it's a straight line. Like I don't have to do any measurement or concern or anything. So love that for me. And then I'm thinking of doing a different color washi. What did I do last time? Yeah, I did a different color washi and the same color over there. And honestly, I think I'm gonna do this, that same concept because it really did work out well. Let's butt it up this way and let it hang off the edge of the paper because I can cut that off really well. And then down here, I really liked it just boxing in the page. So again, butting it up to that and letting it just fall off the page and I will cut those off in a minute. So we are going to have it be a meal prep or this could be meals and meal prep down here. It's just before I did it opposite. But we are going to flip them around this time and then this one up here is going to be to buy and I just have to get that script. So I will update this to buy script for it to be in the font for this year um, because this is from some of my old kits. And so yeah, I need to update it so that it reflects the same font. All right, to buy, and honestly, I'm gonna put a second shopping cart because I think that's really, really cute. And then down here, Oh my gosh, this is gonna be perfect because I have two more shopping carts. I'm gonna stack two shopping carts because a lot of times I'll do a Sam's Club order and then I'll also do like a Walmart order. And so that's allowing me those two orders that I need. And then I ended up labeling it with this grocery pickup. So we're gonna grab that and just put it right there. And that way I know that little section is for my grocery pickup times. This is my to buy list, this is my meals, and then underneath my meals, I usually only do three to five meals. So I think let's do five, one, two, three, four, five. We'll leave one open, and then we are going to go into meal prep. Oh my gosh, fitting perfectly here. So this will be meal prep, and then I have plenty of space right there to write everything for meal prep. I also need to make um, the meal prep ones. So if you order the fitness add-ons, there are meal prep and meal plan stickers, like two of each of those on one of those sheets. Um, but I wanna make a actual just like sheet, a separate sheet with just those tasks on it. Let me get my scissors out and we are going to just cut the extras off the edge of the page. Guys, I am loving the layout. It's going to work like so, so beautifully. All right, and then we need to set up our master brain dump for this week. So I think, let's put it towards the bottom here. Part of me wants a bigger strip and the other part of me is like, this is fine, girl, just work with it. It's simple. <laughs> Keep stuff simple. Don't sit here and recreate the wheel when we don't need to recreate the wheel. Um, what I'm looking for is actually at the beginning here. And it's just some of these boxes. I just have random boxes that have either been the wrong size or it was a miscut or it was just some extras that I haven't used at all. Um, so we are just going to label it up here feel like that's just a little crooked. All of my stickers are on repositionable sticker paper and so you can very easily like lift that up and switch it around. And so let's put week 33 um, master to-do list. Let's just write it in. Here we go, that is so cute, I love it. So then what I end up doing is I just find a matching dual tip marker. So again, these are the Ahuhu dual tip dot pins. Um, one of the sides is just a fine tip and the other side is a blunt one so that you could just 
do a little dot. And so I just sit here and I go down and I do dots. And that way I could just write, 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 and I can make two different sides. Um, sometimes I'll color code stuff, sometimes I won't. And so we're just gonna do one line over here and then I'll worry about like anything else outside of it. Like once I fill in this side, I'll see how much space, like where I want the second one to go. So that page is all done. And then we're almost done, you guys. This is how fast this has came along. Really, if I, if I didn't tell the story, we would have probably already been done here. Um, so the other thing on this kit that I really like to use is I want to put home over here. And honestly, let's put it way over in the corner this time. And so this is saying this is all the home tasks. This is our schedule tasks. Here's our meals. We need to put this as meal prep, my grocery pickup, my workouts, which we need to find that little icon. All right, so a few of the icons. So this is the workout icons. I have the mini size of this too that fits perfectly in each line. Um, so I just like to throw this over here because it's decorative and that's cute. So workout icon. And then while we're getting icons, I might as well use some of my meal icons. And so you're just gonna, wow, that's crooked, you guys. I cannot lay a straight sticker today to save my life. Let's put it on this side actually, cause that way it's not covering up that cute bee. All right, so we have that and let's go ahead and for meals, we're gonna go ahead and use this yellow. So one, two, three, four, five options for meals. And then I'm gonna turn this too because I have a hard time doing this. And then feel, for meal prep, we're just gonna put them all the way down but save one space at the bottom. Like I just like a little bit of white space in between. And then let's go grab another one of these boxes. Let's see. I have some gray ones. Let's use a gray one. I think that'll be cute. So a smaller gray one. And let's let's move it over some so that it keeps some of the bees open and it covers up other parts of the bees. And let's actually, we're gonna write it decoratively. So meal prep. Meal prep. Okay, and we will let that dry for a second, and then we're going to write it in cursive, daintily. Oh, this is really juicy this time. That's not daintily, but it, it looks cute. You know, it gives it a little bit extra of a pep. All right, and then I see down here my good gray one, and so we're going to use gray for our to buy list, and that way, like, your eyes delineate the difference between it, but then I like my grocery pickup to be the separate color, too, because that, like, that needs to stand out and pop. All right, so let's go ahead and go all the way down. I love these dot markers. Like, whatever did we do before them? I mean, I know what people did. They either sat there and used, like, stencils like this, and they made the marks, which I love that on certain weeks too, but they either did that or um, they actually had like how I cut it out with my daily duo kit. I use those all the time, but I don't know that I would put this many in a row. Like I, I would just go without it. All right, I love that you guys, this is the cutest thing ever. All right, so for workouts, I do beach body. But I think what I'm wanting to do for like the next week or two is grow with Joe on YouTube. So I literally just need to like pull it up and start doing it. Like it's gonna be that simple. All right, let's take a peek at this. This is the cutest gosh darn thing ever and look how fast it came together. So my master to-do list, I'll get that written in. My meals, meal prep, grocery pickup, all my workouts, my to buy list, which a lot of times I'll need more than just this room and that's perfectly fine because I could put a second column here. So that works out really, really well. And then it's as easy as like when I look back on this last week, I see what is not marked off. And so I just pull those forward for this or same with meals. I see what we didn't have, like we didn't have baked potatoes this week. 
And so I'll just pull it forward and put it right there. And so this makes it so, so easy. And then I have certain tasks that we do on certain days around the home. So I'll get that all filled out. The zones, that video is still coming for you guys for zone cleaning. And then this is all the scheduled stuff. Guys, look how cute this is. I love it. All right, again, is kit 323. We need to put that down there. All right, guys, again, it's kit 323. I put it down here in the lower left like I usually always do. Kit 323, it has the matching daily duo. We're getting ready to go right into that video this week. That way we could stay ahead of it and we can be ahead of the game for the week because it's gonna be a crazy jumping around schedule a week. All right, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed, share it to all your planning friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.